Why'd I join the resistance? Well, if you must know, it was to avenge your friend. The Imperials butchered before my very eyes, back in Alamigo. We owned a stall in the markets, and a passing soldier snatched up a piece of fruit. He spoke out before I could stop him, only to get a full of steel in the gut for his troubles. I found my way here, and well, that was that. The path ahead leads to the Temple of the Fist. It's my duty to ensure that only those of sound body and mind are permitted to pass. So you have to be level 70 to get in. What does level 70 mean? Well, I'm sure you'll find out later. Right, let's see. I've got a lot of travelling around here. Ironically, I'm pretty sure that this last, not optional, a um, split path quest is going to be what pushes me up to level 62. Because as you may have noticed, between parts I have been gaining a bit of experience because the PvP has been like hugely changed or how it works and I'm actually really enjoying it and it gives it AXP now quite a bit actually huh? Oh you are, Cold Slayer? Damned if I know why you'd you bother asking someone like me why I joined the resistance quite simple if I wasn't fighting for Alamigo I'd be fighting for the Empire you're either with them or you're not and if you're with them you may as well make the most of it food, training, citizenship if you live long enough, you'll die stealing someone else's land, like it's not. But that's the choice. But me, I'd rather die here. Fair enough, I guess. That's not the best reasoning, I must admit. Why? Why indeed? To save lives, perhaps? Or to make amends for the ones I couldn't? It's a woman! My father and my brothers were, were worked to death while building a castrum. What did it matter to the Gallians, eh? More where that lot came from. After that, I couldn't keep on doing nothing. That's honourable. Oh, and look. It's the... Red Mage Kina Kina, that's it, Kina weapons So th the second tier of weapons From Palace of the Dead Alright, let's go talk to this last person Hand in our quest And presumably level up to 62 Which we will get a new Trait and ability At the same time Or technically it's a trait that leads to an ability Alright. Who we're chatting with? Oh, it's you again. I wa was just a cook before all this. Sim simple fare, really. I had a chance to lend a hand and help feed some refugees one day. I took a liking to the fighters. They believed, you know. And there's always a need for cooks. Or at least people who can cook with whatever the foraging part is showing up. Alright. Back to the quest giver. I imagine we'll go into a more main story one after this. Well met Alexander. Have you spoken with the freedom fighters as I asked? Well what log? Page after page of the log is filled with a flowing script. Doubtless, Beeves has had much practice honing his handwriting. Hmm. As fascination as they are, as fascinating as they are varied, you have a knack for convincing others to bear their hearts to you. I could not have done better myself. Many years from now, when the, these tempestuous times pass into memory, 
Their accounts will serve as a window into the struggle. We must never forget, my friend. Never. Ba 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 level up. Trait acquired. Ruin mastery. And with ruin mastery, for the way, uh, traits grants a 50% chance that ruin and ruin three are upgraded to ruin four after a pet uses an action. And ruin four. To use unsuspecting damage with a potency of 200 can only be executed while under the effects of further ruin. Which is why, besides losing some actions, I put ruin 1 on there. Because that doesn't mention 2. I use 2 a lot, but looks like 4 doesn't is a long cast. So it's ruin 1 and 3. So leave that there, leave them there. Works fine for me. Alright, down to there. I do need to sort out my hotbars a bit better, because there's such a mess after losing so many different abilities and such. It'll probably get better once I get like more of the new abilities, even though I think there's only like two, I think. Like two that actually take up spears. Token of Faith. A swarthy resistance fighter is at wit's end. Damn it all! Where could it have gone to? Oh, uh, pardon me! A uh, fellow lover of freedom and justice! You haven't seen uh, a ward of the destroyer anywhere, have you? Maybe on the ground, as if a certain bloody fool dropped it? Oh, I, I'd been him. What? I'd been him? I had it this morning. That much I know for certain. And uh, I've not let, left the reach since, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, if you got a moment to spare, would you be willing to help me search? I spent some time near the Temple of the Fist earlier, so it might be there. As for me, I'll look around near the officer's pat pavilion. They're hardly rare, I know, and I could just as easily buy another. But even so, please help me find it. Sure. I don't mind helping a fellow member of the resistance. As I ride around on my griffin. The symbol of the resistance. So strong and true. Alright, now where's this medallion thing? Should be just around this corner. Well, if it is here. Ward of the Destroyer. Oops, wrong one. Well, there's nothing there. Do they have had the war to the swarthy resistance fight now? Why am I running? Oh! Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Oh, I swear, I've searched all my love, but it just won't turn up. A paper ward inscribed with a prayer to the patron deity of Alamigo Ralga. Seven elves, that's the one. That's my lucky ward. Oh, you're a godsend, brother. Before I was born, my mother made a pilgrimage to the Temple of the Fist, where she, like many others, received the blessing of the monks. And then Theodoric came and burned it all to the ground. The mad bastard. And after him came the Gallians, who cared even less for our beliefs. But I still keep the old way ways as to many others. And when my son is born, I'll teach him the stories and the scriptures as, as my mother taught me. Ba 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 ba. And that's that. Let's see. Crossing the Veladina. Afino has been making himself useful to the resistance. And with that, another task is complete. Oh, Alex, I hear you've been keeping busy. Oh, that he is. 
and we thank him for it. It pleases me to inform you that our new recruits have completed their initial training and stand ready to contribute. As discussed, an hour ago, I would have you present my proposal for an assault on Cat Castilian Velodina to General Alden personally. Of course, sir! And you and yours are planning to return to Castrum Orions. No, are you and yours planning to return to Castrum Orions before the operation? So, why don't we travel together? That seems like a fine suggestion, but I must consult my comrades ere we depart. Depart. Very well. I'll wait for you at the pass, but not too long. I expect Kryle and your steward will wish to remain here to support the Chiagians, but nevertheless, we should go and ask them. All the way to the other side. Actually, let's use this and try to save a bit of time. We want to not go to the Etherite Plaza. I forgot that it's not two clicks when you click on that. It's two clicks when you click on this. Uh, west. Alright. Oops. Let's go see how the two ladies are doing. They haven't moved much. Beaten the pigs and back, have you? Glad to see you in good health. Huh? Is Auto miss? I see. That would explain the sudden flurry of activity outside. This joint operation marks a turning point in our conflict with the Garleans. For the first time, the Resistance and the Alliance shall go on the offensive and attempt to recapture an Imperial outpost in occupied territory. Personally, I believe it is imperative that we offer them our full support, as was the case with Ishgard. However, this is not a chance to be made lightly, nor less on others' behalves. This is war and every scion must decide what part he or she would play. I'll fight for Al Amigo, for my father, for Ida. I'm in it to the end. The choice was made for us here we were born, brother, when the Empire marched on Eorzea. They will stop at nothing to subjugate or slaughter us all. Van Belsa, Belsa and Van Darnus were but the first to try. Though your fervour is surprising, I cannot disprove your longing. At the risk of repeating myself, I am, of course, of the same mind. The present situation is untenable and further complicated by the existence of Eelbird's primal. I believe we have no recourse but to directly and openly intervene. I thought this is a, a far gone conclusion, given our actions thus far. But if you require renewed affirmation, then yes, I am wholly committed to this cause. For it is ultimately the selfsame cause I have served since first I pledged to serve Master Louis Soir and the Circle of Knowing, the salvation of Eorzea, by any means necessary. That said, I shall refrain from taking the field on this occasion. There are many here who will require further treatment, and doubt there's more to come after. I came here for Menphelia, and that hasn't changed. However, I'd like to stay with the Ostella for now and tend to the wounded. As for you, Alex, you are, to quote our dear friend Lord Edmund, the man who slew Gaius von Belsar, and some half dozen primals besides. Your presence may well provide the difference between victory and defeat. Many look to you as a hero and heap great expectations upon your shoulders, but you, like every scion, must decide for yourself. 
Oh my god, look at how many options there are. Three. I'll fight the Empire poses too great a threat. We can but carry on for those we have lost, for those we m can yet save. As long as there's a battle to be fought, I'll be there. To be frank, Alfie, this isn't my fight, but I'll do what I must. I like how it's Alfie, because that's what I call him. That's what everyone calls him. I quite like this option. We can't but carry on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. Well said. Well said indeed. Take care, your Stola, Kryle, and do not hesitate to contact us should you require assistance. Lise, I would ask that you remain here by Conrad's side. We should go, or Monago will leave without us. Uh, might I persuade you to join us, Alex? Should you wish to g give your decision further consideration, Castrum Orions would seem an apt place to do it. You need not answer right away. I'm sure I could convince Monago to wait a little longer. Don't worry, I'm coming. Ah, yes. Asking everyone's opinion before making a critical decision. Truly, this is a far better arrangement than having centralized leadership. We'll have our work cut out for us after the operation, I fear. But we'll do what we can. That's all any of us can do, is it not? All right, where we're heading to? The entrance, most likely. Yavol. So, besides knowing that this is all going to go terribly, I have the same feeling that I normally have in that, well, too much is going well. Everything's coming together. And generally, that is the calm before the storm. But best make sure you got everything you need. We might not be coming back for a while. Grandfather stood with the army that faced the Garleans at Cardinal. Cardinal. This is dangerously close to, to becoming a family tradition. So, will you be accompanying us? Full glad am I to hear it. All set? Excellent. Then let us be off. I don't like the way she said we might not be coming back here for a while. Alright, Castrum Orients it is. I'm not walking there to hell with that. They can walk there, I will teleport. I'm gonna have a quick drink, even though I bet there's gonna be a cutscene with voice acting. Ah, that's better. All this talking is thirsty work. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh! I'll deal with that soon. I didn't think that we'd get ether qu quests quite yet. Welcome back, comrades. What news? But in general, I have come at Commander Kemp's behest to brief you on the latest developments at the Reach. Our recruitment efforts have exceeded expectations. In addition to working in many motivated John Alamegans, our ranks have been bolstered by the arrival of a number of experienced veterans. Thanks in large th to the part, in large part to the efforts of the Scions. As a consequence, we are now able to field half a dozen new units, with more being trained as we speak. Good. I gather Conrad is eager to strike while the iron's hot. Just so, General. He proposes that we begin preparations for a joint operation to capture Caselium Veladina. Cap 
to Veladina, that'll not be easy. It will, however, be necessary if we are to push east towards the capital. There is no profit in, in delay. It is only a matter of time before the Garleans learn of our plans and summon reinforcements. The Alliance hereby accepts Commander Kemp's proposal. Tell him to take no chances. Bring every able-bodied Alamegan who can wield a weapon. Pippin, I want Veladina watched. Assess its defenses, every fortress has a weakness, and I would know this once. If there's no objection, General, might the Scions join Marshal Terrapin? I don't know why you're looking at me when you're asking him. By all means! If that is all, let us be about it. Alright. Let's check that again. Ether currents. There are two, four, six, no, two, four, five quests. So one of them is, that's one of the five for this area. One, maybe two of them, I imagine one, will be from a main story quest. So I'm probably going to do all of them after I get that one. Conrad and the General of one are of one mind, it seems. I only wish I could say the same. While this aggressive strategy may well provide profit us in the end, what losses will we suffer in the meantime? Anyway, we should speak with the Vice Marshal about his reconnaissance mission and see how he would like to proceed. Let's see how that compares. Uh. It's slightly not as good, <laughs> to say the least. It's got more determination though, I'll say that. A Castellium is, a, is less a military installation and more a supply depot. A storage and distribution facility for the surrounding area. That being the case, taking it will not only earn us a a strategic foothold, but deprive our en enemy of valuable resources. So, Marshal Terrapin means to lead the reconnaissance mission himself, does he? I didn't say the inflection on that right, but whatever. Oh, that's got a cutscene, that's worrying. Not cutscene. Uh, image. You know what I mean. In Crimson, it began. Pippin is looking forward to the assault on Castilium Veladina. Thank you for volunteering to join me. This should be a fairly straightforward reconnaissance mission. As long as we do not have the ill fortune to run afoul of an Imperial patrol. Come, our destination is beyond East End, just north of Veladina. Bye. Ah, new area. Well, a new part of the map. So we want to head down this way, and then across here, maybe. It's hard to see when the map is, well, blanked out. Ah, oh, shut up. Stupid leshies. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Oh, oh, that! That's a big bear! Let's avoid the big bear. And his brother, secondary big bear. There's a building. Can't enter it because it's, like, broken down. So I guess we're passing by, like, a village that was assaulted, most likely by the Garleans. I say village, it was two houses. Two houses does not a village make. What the hell is that? I'm not... Is that another level 70? Oh, no, it's a fate. 
Bam, 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 bam. Run away. I'm not part of the fate. Leave me alone. I just wanted to read the description. Okay. Legend states that all Diaka were born of seeds, scattered by Kianis in her wonders across Garavania. She continues her journey to this day, spawning more of the deadly seed kitten while feeding herself upon the blood of weary bystanders. I'd love to join in, don't think I can do that by myself. Leave me alone, Tracer. Get back in Overwatch. Alright, let's go this way. At least the sprites don't attack us. Oh! Here's the next thing! Well, there's our cast castrinium or whatever the hell it was called. It's not a castrum. Nought appears to be out of the ordinary at a glance. Even should they be unaware of our plans, I wouldn't be surprised if their west and defences were not heavily fortified, given the presence of allied forces at the wall. This ought to be close enough. Now we've settled in for a long watch, or now we settle in. That said, it would be prudent to keep your weapons at the ready, in the event a passing patrol strumbles upon us, well, or worse. Ooh. Upon proceeding to the infirmary, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. That's... worrying. Proceed? 